Hey everyone, this is Rocky Direz on a new podcast series, The Computational Linguist, focusing on nothing but computational linguistics and natural language processing, where you learn things from scratch and also get to hear news about what's going on in the field. Before anything else, what is natural language processing? Imagine you are a company's boss or the HR and let's say you are hiring people for various positions. Now being in a busy and a highly populated country like India, where I am from, would mean you will be getting tons of resumes. Are all of these resumes of the same type and design? No, you have resumes of all shapes and sizes along with all sorts of design involved. What if you have no time to go through all of them? to pick out the best candidates that you are interested to take an interview with. Let's say you want to deal with people not based on their GPAs but based on the projects they have worked on before and the skill set they have acquired over a long time. Now is there a way that a machine can read these and understand which ones would fit your requirement? Is there? If there is one or if there isn't one rather, how would you build it? How? What goes on into making such systems? that are a bit intelligent. This is the part where I would like to say Welcome to the Computational Linguist. So, I've been into a few programming projects lately, working on web applications that are meant to be used as interfaces for NLP systems. And after a while, I got myself into a college program dealing with computational linguistics. So far, I found it quite interesting and I thought Why not put up a podcast that would discuss various topics and ideas revolving around NLP that would help me reach out to those who are in the same boat as I am. So that's how the computational linguist started. So let's get started folks. First up, I'll discuss briefly how I'm planning to set this forward. I'll be going into the specifics of natural language processing too along with discussing current trends and current research in the field here and there. I'll be taking help of a few textbooks, blogs, research papers, etc. to put forward valuable content that would help anyone interested in NLP go to, to go forward and learn things right from the beginning. So a few episodes might focus only on interesting things surrounding NLP and applications of NLP while other episodes revolve around learning NLP itself brick by brick. So without any further ado, let's dive into NLP. To understand NLP, you need to go back a bit and understand natural language. Language in its broadest terms would be a system to communicate and natural language differentiates itself from others in the sense that it has evolved naturally in humans and is being used repetitively. All of this being done without any conscious planning involved. No conscious planning involved at all. So when you look at this set of languages, starting from English, French, Arabic, Japanese, Russian and so on, you see that there is a lot of complexity involved in it. This complexity is interesting to linguists as they study language and gather a ton of insights into various spheres of life such as how the mind functions, how people evolved, how certain sounds are rare while others aren't, etc. But what a computational linguist is interested in is to get this very complex language analyzed and processed and finally understood by computers. Now, if you would like to point out that computational linguistics, CL, and NLP, Natural Language Processing, are two different fields. I would say that they are highly related. They are working on the same ground, but with different goals in mind. Computational Linguistics focuses on providing and creating computational methods to answer certain scientific questions of linguistics, which can be better solved by using computers partially or fully. On the other hand, You have natural language processing which can be considered as the art of solving problems that need to analyze natural language. It is used heavily to create interfaces of all types so that we as humans 
can better communicate with computers there's a lot there's a strong overlap between the two and hence i'll be talking about both fields in depth in this podcast while using the terms interchangeably so let's get back to the interesting stuff what can nlp do for you as i had mentioned in the start a good grip on nlp can let you create a resume parser something that reads various resumes and makes sense of it NLP can be used in all sorts of ways to understand what a text is all about. It helps you pick out the most appropriate title for an arbitrary essay or even help you decide which of the mails is spam for automatically filtering out the useless stuff out of your inbox. This is done by something called as uh, text classification, one of the core uses of NLP. Simply put, it classifies random text Another area where NLP is used is called language modeling. Language modeling is a process of developing probabilistic models that are able to predict the next word of a sentence in a sentence if the preceding words are given to you. Now, what do I mean by a probabilistic model? It just means that the model is built using probabilities of words and their occurrences in phrases based on the text provided for the computer to learn so there is a huge text you give to the computer it learns how the words are arranged which words come next to which and the computer gathers statistical insights and helps you predict the next word language model and language modeling will be covered in depth in one of my episodes here in the future it is quite important in the field of speech recognition spelling correction machine translation etc each of these topics will be talked about in detail in future episodes so there is no dearthful application of nlp anywhere the field is full of things ready to be explored nlp is a discipline that involves computer science artificial intelligence linguistics and even psychology to an extent there are many other use cases than the ones mentioned before and each of these will unravel slowly as you go along NLP is generally considered as a doorway into the field of AI as well because AI deals with things like knowledge representation and learning while uh they are related to NLP again so some even go forward and propose that NLP is a branch of AI itself interesting isn't it NLP involves a lot of machine learning as well what is machine learning you may ask Well it is an application of AI that gives systems the ability to l- learn automatically and improve themselves from experience. All of this is done without hard coding any of that stuff into them. It's like giving them the ability to learn. It lets us analyze a lot of data like a lot. There will be more on this in a later episode where I'll go into the depths of it, but it will be specific to NLP and computational linguistics only. So to answer the main question of this episode NLP is a form of artificial intelligence that analyzes natural languages which are human languages there is NLP everywhere these devices like Alexa and Google Assistant use them first they convert your sounds to text and once that is done they understand the text and derive meaning out of the text after understanding the actual meaning they set out to work to finish the job you have asked them to do all of this happens in quite less times this is what happens when you speak to siri as well so folks this brings us to the end of this episode i hope with this episode you now have a brief understanding as to what nlp is and what can be expected of it in the coming episodes i'll be talking about more things we will deep dive into the core study I'll be talking about exciting applications of present day NLP in the next episode so stay tuned to the computational linguist